Are you looking to enhance your product listing by adding multiple images for each brand? So this guide will show you how to set up a multiple variant images in the Shopify to help your customers make it confident purchases decisions. So to get started, first of all, you must understand why to use uh, this multiple variants. So having multiple images uh, for each variant allows your customer to see exactly what they're actually getting. So improving trust and reducing returns, this is what they actually get. So whether it's color sizes, whether it's the design, whether as showing all angles and feature is the key. To get started, there's a few prerequisites to do, uh, do this process. First of all, I need to do is to have a Shopify store, an active Shopify store, then a variant creating your product listing and some high quality images for each variant. So with this information, before we start, make sure you have already created the variants for your products and have high quality images uh, ready for upload. So let's get started. First of all, I'm gonna go directly into the setting up of the multiple variants. I'm gonna go into my Shopify administrator dashboard. We are here into the home section. Let's locate this navigation where it says product here into the left section. Now here I select the product I would like to update. So for example, let's go for this one, which is the new product. We have absolutely nothing here. So what I'm gonna be doing here is to start by entering the title of the product. For example, let's go for um, T-shirt example. The description, let's go for T-shirt 100%. And I'm gonna go here for it says generate text, tone persuasive, organic cotton. And I generate it. Basically this artificial intelligence element is gonna be helping me to do something more important or more interesting for the description of my product. Now here I have the media of a specific product. This is the part where I wanted to go and look out for uh, one image variant of my in this case, a t-shirt. So here is my actual media, right? And to edit the elements, let's say for example, automatically you don't have to do, to do a lot inside the editor. Basically what we're gonna be doing here is to fill as much information as you can possibly can. For example, here are the product types. Let's type for example, t-shirt, or I'm gonna type here, clothing. The bundle should be all sales. I'm gonna send this collection for all the products. And the tag, let's go for T-shirt, right? So here it is. Now here into the price, I'm gonna type that this one costs $7. And here I have the inventory, a little bit down, here's the shipping cost, and here is the variant. Now under the variant section, click into the specific variant and upload the corresponding image, for example, here. Let's type with exactly the same size, but I'm gonna change this for color. So I'm gonna go for a value and gonna type the word um, black and the other value should be orange for example and now I'm gonna type done inside this variant we can see that here is the variant already been located if you scroll a little bit down into the variant we have the option to specify how it's gonna be looking this variant. So into the one that says uh, black, this is the one that I'm gonna be using for the main uh, image, which in this case is this one. I saved for done, and I'm gonna add a new one for the orange color, which in this case, it should be this one. So it says processing, go for upload, and go for done. Now I'm gonna go for save. Once I have saved this element, what I need to do is to make sure that this one now has been now applied into my product. For example, here it says on categorize, let's go for shirt, t-shirt, uh, clothing tops. There we go. Now let's go for safe. And into the upper side, I'm gonna type the word that says preview. So uh, to streamline this process and unlock additional customization options, you can consider using uh, more Shopify applications. For example, there's a variant image automator. So this application automatically links your image to the specific variants and allows you to customize how they appear into the product pages. If you're okay with the elements that we have done so far, well, you don't have to do much more. Basically here is my preview of the page. This is the color black and the other one is orange. And when I click into orange, 
you can see that the variant automatically changed uh, right away. So to repeat your product page, click through the variants to ensure the image changed dynamically and displayed correctly, and test both desktop and the mobile view to make sure that this one actually looks really great. So there you have it. Adding multiple variant images to your Shopify store in cases the Shopify experience and can lead to higher conversions. Once again, if you want more advanced tools for this process, you can focus into the option that says apps, typed a word that uh, can help you of course with the filtering of what you're looking for. For example, this one have a variant option product options. Now this application can be helping us to um, do more than just adding um, basically a color we have the hide the head options to upload a photo the skin the hair so basically that's what we can do with more than just uh the basic solution of the shopify so once again that's how we can actually do this process hopefully it was a very useful information for you once again don't forget to like share and subscribe and well we can all see you next time hopefully